welcome welcome hi everyone and welcome back to my channel I am Victoria welcome if you're new here if you're not new here <clears throat> family you know what you know I know I know I seen it but fast and furious yeah right <clears throat> well due to popular um requests when I asked in the previous video, Ian Hemmer asked, when I asked in the previous video if to do a part two of the silliest, craziest things I did as a child, I got a lot of yeses. So tonight's video, well, you don't know it's night, but this night video is about some of the, yeah, I'm not wearing it for long, you know, a little vein and I feel how with my glasses, but some of the craziest, most foolish things I did as a child. <laughs> First one, um, as, as if you were following up on the other videos, you would have heard me say that I grew up a lot of my childhood was spent in Canada with my big brother. My sister wasn't born yet. She was born in Canada, but she came down back to Trinidad as a baby with us. But my brother and I spent some time in Canada. Now, Canada doesn't really have the amount of bugs the Caribbean has. Eh? Like, I mean, on a real, we didn't know what was marks on skin. My skin was as pure, as pure as the wind-driven snow, as pure as the morning dew. If you saw my skin flawless in Canada. But when we came down to Trinidad now, we learned about mosquito and sandfly, and every minute is the sweet scratch. You're scratching, you know, you're scratching, everywhere scratching, a sweet scratch because you're getting bite. I don't know what went on with my brother and I, but it was fun. And my brother and I started to do bobo squeezing competition so my first foolish thing as a child was having a bobo you know the bobo when you have a mark or a pimple or a button and you're squeezing it digging it, it pussy it sticky it gampy and it was leave a mark we had a bobo squeezing competition so every afternoon after school when around six is to my brother and i sit down digging bobo squeezing bobo bobo all in the bam see bobo bobo because we didn't know about mosquito and sandfly and, and what's this next thing horse fly and them things so and the sweet and them sweet in the scratch and them sweet you're scratching and then you're squeezing the bobo to show look at pus i get look i get more pus on you i get more pus on you do look at bobo i have look i got new bobo be and imagine that so that was number one number two of foolish things i did as a child i call in my brother again in this one number two was having mocks Robin competition. Robin and collecting mocks. Yeah, mocks. 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 Where you come up when you're beating mocks, Robin of competition. Do ask me who used to win. I told you already in the previous videos if you didn't used to listen. I didn't like to beat as a child. So when it comes to mocks, Robin competition, and you're sweaty, you know, you're waiting till you're sticky to start the competition, eh? And we start a rub, so on you're rubbing. You rub under the arm, you're rubbing between your back, you rub. You hear? You say get plenty mocks right here. So, what when we collect the balls now? When you're rubbing it, it's dropping. Eh? So, you have to be dusting off, dusting off this mocks. You know, when I'm collecting it in a zone, and then you gather it up. It sounds ridiculous. I'm a children. You gather it up and you roll it into one big ball now. A plasticine. You know? And you're showing this boom, bam, your ball of mocks. Yes, okay. I used to win most of the time. But oh gosh, so that's the second thing that was foolish and crazy that I did as a child. Don't judge, I am 46 now, and I lived a wonderful childhood. I could, I could come and tell the stories now. If I didn't do that, oh, I wouldn't have nothing to tell you tonight. Eh? Not so. <laughs> but yes, the other one, oh God. Oh Lord. I didn't like gilly toys and stuff. I didn't have gilly toys. I used to have toy trucks. I had them ski electric set and all them things. So my third point has to do with the only gilly gift or girly thing I owned, right? As I said, I had race truck, tonka trucks and all them things, sports cars. I used to play basketball, football, all them things. But I had a dolly house, a doll house, a real doll house. Like literally miniature sized house with little furniture tiny little dressing table, tiny little beds, tiny little mat, tiny, I mean, it was fully finished, but kitchen had two fridge, everything, I mean, every Christmas I used to get another set for the room, they used to sell it in sets with little teacups and whatever, 
example, this year I got a toilet set. Oh my God, if you see the cute little toilet and the little sink and the little soap dish and things, say, your girl playing down in the basement. It was in Canada, yes. Playing down in the basement. Where I like where I have my personal space because then everybody hate the basement and they afraid the basement. Not my black ass. I ain't afraid nothing. So I don't in the basement playing my dolly house and I pee take me. Ad Anubis! Anubis! Trying to, to think to, to escape outside by the window close, he'll chill on a whole thing and have their vase with some plants and some water. Right. A pee take me. But I watching, I had to go all the way upstairs to get to the toilet. We didn't have a house right here, a little dolly house right here. I could clean my dolly house toilet. She ran stupid bag, I was around six years old. The toilet is how big as they are wrong so. Like for my little dolly, them Daphne and Violet that them was to use. Right? I don't know where we're madness jumping me. I going to stoop down. If you see me trying, because you know we big and the toilet small. So if you see me trying to fit myself over the side to aim to pee. Well, that was the day I learned that I can't just cut off pee. Once you start peeing, you can't cut off. Once I pee, start. You can't cut off. Once I pee, start. You can't stop. And that piece started to shoot. When I realized, wait, time my body turned for drip, the toilet full, and I tried to cut off my pee, tried to cut off my pee. I couldn't cut off the pee. Let me just say it so I couldn't cut off the pee. So the whole ground, the toilet, the everything, and the. You know, I had to get rid of that before my mother them see, right? Oh, God. Number four. Number four. And I think that's the final one for now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Number four is when I bust my own head. Yeah, I burst my own head. It was a Christmas. And mommy then washed the shower curtains in the bathroom and told me to hang them back up. Ah, you know, everything for me is a game and an excitement and an adventure. Yeah, right. And they're going out. Bye. Love you. They're going out. I'm going to hang up the shower curtain. But you know, I shot. So I climb up on, the, on a chair and chair back here and I am facing the chair back hanging up the shower curtain, right? Finish hanging up the shower curtain, I so proud of myself. I watch the daughter leave the toilet now. I watch the daughter leave. I say, you know, I could jump over the back of the chair, just high enough to clear the chair, but just low enough to clear the frame of the door. And that will look real good, mind you, I tell you, I home alone. You hear the shit I come up with? I am facing the back of the chair because I finished hanging up the shower curtain and I am saying I'm going to jump high enough over the back of the chair back but low enough under the door frame and look real cool with that. Lo and behold, I jump high enough to jump over the back of the, 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 the chair, yes. Oh, that was done perfectly. Oh, hey, Anko. Did I... I didn't jump low enough, right? And end of the day, I didn't jump low enough. To clear the door frame and I hit my head kutuk. I still have the mark, my bus head mark. I hit my head kutuk and drop bap. I do not know how long I was on the ground then because as I said nobody was home. Bap. When I catch myself, I was covered in blood. Blood just running down. Now we were told never to leave home, never to open the door, never to answer the phone, never to nothing, right? Never to my tail. If you see me running, going down the road like some panicking, damaged, you know, beaten up child. Hey, hey, hey. Running all along this residential area in Santa Cruz. And one of the neighbors opened the door and see about man and whatnot. Well, I wouldn't tell you what I went to. And I had to, I to tell you what I went to. And mommy them come home and hear what was right. That was say, right. Anna outside. Anna gone by neighbor. Okay, 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 okay. One more, one more. The last foolish or crazy thing I did as a child was Anubis what movie? He trying to go outside. Yeah, as a child is what happened? Is that spirit? Well do your job, yeah black cat, do your job with you coming to concern me about. But uh uh what do you think I'm feeling you for? All that friskies that that expensive friskies you think coming cheap? Do your job and don't be bothering me, eh? If you're feeling evil in the place, do your job. You're a black cat. Get rid of it. Right, shucks. You get strength. Right, what I said? The last one is eating dog food. Right, eating dog food. 
this one now I was living in Trinidad. Stop at that. Stop that. I was living in Trinidad. And mom used to prepare, I find, some good ass dog food for them dog. I mean, human food for them dog. My mother used to boil nice rice, like good rice, then a dog rice, but it's a good human rice. And then she used to fry up some egg, you know, seasoned down with black pepper and she chili pepper, salt and thing, and then mix it up with this rice and send me to feed dog. Or she used to break up cricks. I really love sardine. I love sardine. I'll eat it raw from the tin. But she used to break up cricks. And then mash up sardine and it's all the same fry up egg and things and give me that to get the dog. Mom, when I go on to get the dog, by the time I done it, they get three pieces of brick, half a crick, they're lucky. So yes, I used to eat dog food. But it wasn't dog food, dog food. But it was dog food meant for the dogs. <laughs> so, thanks for joining me. That was part two. Dos deuces of my most foolish things or craziest things I did as a child. Yes, I have one, another wig. Another one. You smart. You real smart. <laughs> but this one is baby one. Yeah, next week. I tell you, you're not going to see what I did to my hairline. Removing wigs wrong. Well, these are stickers, I tell you, they just tied on. <laughs> So once again, thanks for watching. If you liked, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and to press the notification bell to know every time. Oh, well, let me just say on but yeah. Every time I post, right? Every time I post. Mm -hmm. Every time I post. You know, every time I post. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every time I, mm -hmm. I post. I didn't just say I'm not singing. <laughs> it must look like I have a child because I can keep my backside quiet. I know I see bad by myself. But anyway, I don't know what time it is by you. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Well, it's good night here, so good night. Hey, sit down quiet now. Ruby, you come and do a video with me? You do a video with me? You do a video with me? And you get you. You can do me see. You find you good. Yeah, that way it look like. <laughs> you doing the video with me? Mmm. My black pussy. <laughs>